So let's do this one. Um, first, the complex ion pictured has a square planar geometry. Name the complex ion pictured and then draw the structures of the two geometric isomers of this complex, okay? And in fact, I have the models uh, built already so we can look at that too. Okay, so naming this thing, right? First we put the ligands and we gotta put them in alphabetical order and they're all negatively charged. If you, if you don't know, bromines are negatively charged, cyano groups are negatively charged with cyanide groups. Um, so this is going, and we've got to put them in alphabetical order, so it's going to be called dibromo. Dicyano. Um, then we put the uh, uh, metal atom, but it's a negatively charged ion, so it's going to be the nicolate. Ion, and then we have to figure out its oxidation state. Well, this is negative one times two, so negative two. Negative one times two, so negative two, so negative two. Negative two, so that's overall negative four, right? So negative four. So to get a negative two, this must be positive two, there, right? So, So the name of this compound is dibromo dicyano nicolate 2. Okay? And now it wants us to draw the geometric isomers. Okay, so remember the geometric isomers are going to be have the same atoms connected to the same other atoms, but they're going to be arranged differently. Okay, and it already told us it's in a square planar arrangement with the nickel in the middle. So we'll draw the cis complex first. Remember, cis, same side. Okay, so and then. <clears throat> The whole thing is uh, two minus, so we'll just write. It. Okay, so this is the cis with the two groups being on the same side. Okay, so we're doing. So let's do the trans isomer now. So what is it going to look like? It's going to have the nickel in the middle still. But instead of having the same group on the same side, we're going to have different groups on the same side. Or the same groups opposite of each other. So this geometric isomer is called the trans isomer. So that's when the same groups are opposite of each other. Okay, so let's just look at what these two look like. And instead of their square planar, right? So there's the cis. Hopefully you can see the square planar arrangement. Okay, we've seen a few of these now. Okay. Hopefully you can see the cis, right? Same side, ligands. Same ligands on the same side. Let's compare that to the trans, right? The same ligands are on opposite sides of each other. Same ligands are on opposite sides of each other. And I want to ask, are these the same compound? No, they're not. Why? Because to interconvert from one to another, what would I have to do? I'd actually have to break a covalent bond and reattach it. So break two of them in this case and reattach them. And then I would get the same compound. Okay? So they're actually different compounds, even though um, they have the same molecular formula and the same atoms are bonded to the same atoms. 
Okay, any questions on this one? Okay, wonderful.